New this morning, the World Health Organization says there are 108 potential coronavirus vaccines in the world. Eight of them are now in clinical trials. How long, if ever, then, until we see a vaccine? Joining me now is Dr. Peter Hotes. He's the dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine involved in vaccine development. So, Dr. Hotes, you're sort of like a human decoder ring for us here to understand the terminology and understand how things really are proceeding. So when we talk about things in clinical trial, you say we should expect to see vaccines get through this level, but what does that mean exactly? Well, what it means is if you really want a vaccine as fast as possible, you want to have as, we call it, as many shots on goal as, as possible. And the actual principle of making a vaccine against COVID-19 is actually not that complicated. What you need is an immune response against the spike protein. If you've looked, ever looked at a cartoon of a coronavirus, you've seen that donut with a piece of RNA stuffed in the middle and a bunch of spikes sticking out all around it. That spike protein is what binds with our tissues, our host, our host receptor. So if you make an immune response to it, you can block the infection. The question is how to best and most safely block that and uh, create the immune response to block that spike protein. And so we're looking at a diverse array of technologies because we don't know which is going to be the most effective in terms of inducing that best immune response and doing it safely. So if you really want to have that accelerated timeline, the, one of the best ways to do it is to get as many uh, candidates out there. And that's what we're doing in the U.S. We're hearing different numbers of 6 to 8 or 14. And remember, it's not just in the U.S. This is going on. This is going on in China. It's going on in England. It's going on in uh, in, in Europe and elsewhere. So uh, some people call it a race. I don't like using that uh, term because I think sometimes it implies that we're going to rush things to the point where we're going to make a vaccine that's uh, not as effective as it could be or not as safe. So uh, this is where we get to, into the bottleneck of getting all of those candidates, hopefully including ours, hopefully ours will go into clinical trials sometime this summer, bringing all those candidates along and then collecting enough data in terms of showing that it works, that what we call efficacy data, and showing that it's safe uh, before we consider uh, licensing a vaccine. Those are two key questions there, and you say that's where the difficulty is, getting it into clinical trials.